All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, at least my first cast season. I think this is Jared's second, and uh, I'm pretty excited. It's a good matchup. This should be – this is a good playoff match or imp has implications for at least one of these teams, maybe both. And it's on a newer map that we, we've seen a bit of now in the past two seasons, but I'm definitely excited for, for these two new teams to really go at it this season. Uh, how are you doing today, Jared? Doing pretty good, ready for some clear-cut action. Both these teams are – Probably not too far away in terms of skill level, so I'm ready for an exciting match. I don't know. Uh, I was talking to uh, some people on on Wonderwall yesterday, and they they, were, they had some confidence. You know, I was I was informed there was going to be some weird, you know, crazy Ubers. So I'm excited. I already know what one of them are, but you know, they've been telling me they're, they they got some stuff in the lab. And that kind of stuff is pretty important when it comes down to you know milking every single round you can out of a team. You definitely want to have some plays in your playbook to be able to throw the t other team for a loop and get some rounds, even if they're, you know, maybe a little bit on the cheesier side. So, hey, we welcome it. Especially because it's a newer map. You like, you don't see, like some other maps, you know, most of the things, but there's like, I don't think I've really seen people do like hiding in the other team's house Uber, not the hut, but the house. And like when people come out for a four man, usually they don't check it that well. So maybe you can run in with like two scouts. So. Maybe stuff like that. There's just some random weird corners where you assume they're not going to be there, and maybe right around this corner. But uh, I think, I think uh, let's just do some uh, some class matchups here because I don't I don't know if we've talked about it very much. But let's uh, let's do combo scouts. So I think the scouts are Caps and Sandblast on combo. And I want to. Who do you think really is the edge in that matchup? At least. Uh. I'd probably say I'll give the edge a little bit to Morning Light just because it's probably the more experienced combo, you know, but it is, like you said, it's a new map, so even though you have experience in general, it doesn't necessarily have to do with the way this particular map might play, but I mean, if you had to swing it towards one way, that would be my initial presumption. Yeah, I think, I think a big thing for Morning Light is going to be, especially in a map like Clear Cut, is... I want to see how well he can get behind and put pressure out flying in the skybox. And he's probably going to be a big, big part of uh, trying to trying to break stalemates, maybe trying to get out of a disadvantageous position, get behind, take 1v1s. And he is a, he's a jumper, so he should be able to do the jump part well. But I just want to see if he can execute it against uh, these other invite, invite opponents here. Yep, and that's definitely going to be a big part in uh, trying to, you know, have this map be good for your team. It's going to be a lot on space creating and try, trying to put out as much pressure as you can to, to give your team some room. So we'll have to see what, what both teams kind of show up in that department in terms of uh, making sure their teammates are the best supported they can be. Yeah, so at least from what I've gained from this map, I, I don't know, it, it feels like a really good morning light map because on demo, at least you don't really need to get aggro as long as you just hold the point and just keep spamming. You're probably going to do well. And then I've seen a lot of scout like Uber trades. And that's that's the same. If you think scout Uber trade, you think Sandblast. So I'm assuming he's going to be Definitely. having a field day here. And I don't know. I feel like a game plan for Morning Light is going to be a lot of bombing Azen because from some some stats and stuff I've been looking at, he's had a he's had a couple rough games on this map. Like I think he had 20 deaths in a, in a scrim earlier, given it's a scrim and he probably hasn't played this map too much, but I don't know. I feel like that'd be uh, an opportunity for someone like Rakuso and Fruit to really cactus whack his fruit, really go for it and try and try and get their Uber out. Because guy definitely can uh Lil guy can can live for a while by himself. Definitely. Alright, well I've uh, been in contact with some of the players right now. It seems like they are gonna be going live relatively soon, so we don't have too much more time. Should, it's probably best to go ahead and skip straight to predictions of what we think this, this match is going to be. Uh, Marmalou, you know, Koth, it's going to four. What are you thinking so far in terms of uh, what's gonna happen at the end of the day? You know, I was, like I said, I was talking to some people on Wonderwall yesterday and they were they were fairly confident. And you know what? I'm I'm ready for an upset. This is an upset map. Even though I feel like this is a good morning light map, uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe, maybe just the first match, the second match of their season, but first match for morning light, I feel like they could probably come out and surprise them. Maybe, I'll just say 4-3 for, for Wonderwall, just, just for the hope of a, an exciting game here. I think, I think morning light can probably take this. I do think you have a good point, especially because it's early on in the season and things aren't necessarily solidified. 
I think that Morning Light takes a slight edge, and I'm going to say something like a 4-2 in their favor, so we'll have to see uh, who's right in terms of uh, who's able to take this match at the end of the day. I don't know, like, like we were talking about, it's not, nothing's really cemented in the, in the meta for this map, really, so I don't know. Anything could happen, and I'm really excited to see uh, what, what these teams are going to pull out, especially the Soldiers, because so far, a lot of jumping behind, a lot of that stuff, and... Yeah, just everyone in their spawn dying to the saw, and uh, we are starting right now. Yep. Going to be going into the first mid of the second match, casting match of the season for RGL GG. Morning Light versus Wonderall. And uh, we're going to have a, pretty much a normal rollout, as rollouts are. Both teams kind of taking their time to arrive to mid, but we have both demos trying to spam across the point, see if they get any initial damage. Not a whole lot. Both teams a little bit passive, not any anyone necessarily going behind. We have Rakuso playing all the way back, preparing for some sort of counterplay, but none's, no aggression's going to come from Morning Light, just a little bit of a slow spamming gameplay. A lot of the players are still relatively healthy, not a whole lot of reason to necessarily go off of damage unless you see an isolated player. There are some players on Wonderwall that are slightly, maybe more alone than others, but we do have the first little bit of initiation, how we're going to be walking in, taking a lot of damage, but not necessarily anything uh, Morning Light wants to go off of. Azen taking a lot of damage himself. Now we start starting to see some trades go off as Rakuso is going to be falling. And the blue team tries to rush across the point. They're going to drop Sandblast in turn. So now we're at a 5v5 uh, fight with Dingo all the way backing up. So things are looking a little bit better for Wonderwall. Morning Light's trying to stay in this, trying to edge the cap a little bit. Not if Morning Light has, has anything to say about it. As both teams kind of have the Uber, starting to get their players back. It's kind of on whichever team wants to jump the gun and Uber exchange on this very, very long mid fight, Marmalu. I don't know. There's no Sandblast. He's getting here now. And actually, Wonderwall taking the Uber in. They're forcing a bit of flashes, but Sandblast running straight forward. He's actually overextending just a bit. They have a soldier in behind, and I'm expecting a collapse any second now. But Brute does get dealt with. And now this fight's not looking great. Rakuso about half HP on the side. And there's high ground on the side of Morning Light. And they are just pouncing on this soldier. And it's not looking great. I, Wonderwall should have to leave any second now. But actually, Sam getting a really good pick on Alpha. This is winnable, but Soapy on the high ground, nice direct on the scout. And uh, they're just really split up and just eating damage. But good thing for Wonderwall is no one's capped yet. Sam really weak, they get a soldier in. And it's just, no one can cap at all. Sam Blast killing fruit there. And now, maybe eventually, but Aizen, I think, ate a pipe or something. Sai gets caught out, Aizen out of the fight. And this is the turn they need, Soapy in. But I don't know, they, they have so much better health and they actually turn it around so well. Aizen getting out with no HP. And mid for Wonderwall. That is legitimately the longest mid fight I've ever seen in a, in a casted invite match. I don't know if there is one longer, and if there is, then I've missed it. But at the end of the day, Wonderwall is going to take the very first mid of the game. And now we're in an even uber scenario where uh, Warning Light's going to want to try to take this point back for themselves. They're inching up towards the shack a little bit, and they have Soapy Meister over on the far left a little bit alone, but it doesn't matter too much as Wonderwall doesn't want to necessarily initiate anything quite yet. They're happy with the captain they've gotten is. Morning Light being in a poke the point a little bit, see if they can get a little bit of cap time, but not necessarily anything initiating right off the bat, oh, just a little is, bit of spam Okay, war. see, there's, this is what I want to see. Soapy jumping in, they're getting on the soldier on the shed. Really good pick, but Sandblast gets dropped, and the Uber is so much worse on the side of Morning Light, and they may not even get this force. Well, guy will eventually have to pop, and Crusoe on the high ground, Morning Light's just going to have to leave there, and that's what I was talking about. You need to have a soldier get behind, because that took so long to initiate, because it's it's difficult for that. Soapy in on the med just misses the last rocket. That's that's a really late death, and just just for them, they uh they've had the clock the the cap the whole time, and it's gonna keep ticking down while they're waiting for the soldier here. Yeah, gotta wait for their spawns a little bit, but they're in a, in a situation where it's a bit dry, so you could just try to go straight in and see if you can do anything different this time. A lot of damage actually taken on the morning light as the scouts get piped over and over again. Sandblast extremely low, Rakuso trying to see if he can work his way in to get that pick, but is actually going to die himself. Still though, despite the death, morning light's health is not the greatest. They're trying to buff up their self, uh, themselves a little bit and try to use the pick they have to continue to inch this point. But it's been a while, the Ubers are starting to get in play in a couple seconds here, and Wonderwall might be able to use it to try to block this point last second. They pop, they get Alpha down, but Morning Light keeping the Uber a little bit longer. They pop in, but the Scout on the flank on the Demo Soldier, but doesn't work. And all of Morning Light in that shed right now. They finally get out with the end of the Uber. Soldier behind Fruit doing a lot of damage. Dingo also taking a lot, and they get the pick on Overextended Dingo. This fight's looking great. Jump in from Fruit trying to get on the med. Does get the med. And everyone looks like they're falling in turn for Morning Light. Unless, uh, unless Sai and Samus can pull something out here. 
Yep, Sandblast trying to barrel forward. Sam's Pissy is able to live with 5 HP and size. He's gonna live with his life. He doesn't want to have to deal with any of that and probably just wait for his respawner, so. The victory for Wonderwall. It seems like so far Morning's Light's uh, ability to try to push this point is not really met with a lot of success for them, but this we're gonna like have worst one more try. As well. They have this big Uber case. this at 30 seconds. If Wonderwall sees the med and they just pull the trigger, that could be round. They're about to have Uber any second now. Unless some, something catastrophic happens, they're gonna get this Uber. Looks like they're gonna run up the valley, trying to get onto Azen. Azen is caught, but they decide to go for all the picks, and it's such a good play. They get four. Azen out with one eight, like 20 HP just finally slips out, but may get chased all the way to the end. But there is 10 seconds. They do get him, and that was a dominant round. One morning light just they can't break this point. I'm telling you, they need to bomb someone behind, and they haven't done it. Sophie's been content sitting on that little island, and they shouldn't be able to get a contest here. And if they do, it won't won't be for very long. Yep, so far their offense has been trying to bash their head up against a brick wall. They definitely have to try something different, but the question is, is what method are they going to change when it comes to this mid-fight? Will we have another four-minute mid-fight, and whatever they change, will it be enough? Well, only a couple seconds till we finally see, as it seems like both teams are arriving to mid. Yeah, this is actually weird. I didn't notice. Dingo is rolling out in his own hut. I haven't seen this roll out, but he gets a spam angle, and once again, Morning Light looks like they're playing it a bit slow, maybe waiting for a double bomb. Double bomb actually from the side of Wonderwall on the med. They don't really get much, but the scout comes in, clean up, cleans up the med. And if I'm then, if I'm low guy, I'm getting out. You know, we got the med pick, and we're probably not winning this mid, but the bomb in the pipe spam, but just trying to slip out just barely. They're still trying to push through the house. And these are two picks. If they're feeling it, they get one, they get two. Howard does get cleaned up, but that that's really good for the side of Wonderwall. Yeah, that's worth for Howard. He's on half as well, much time as uh, Dingo and Sandblast do, so they're going to be able to use this pick advantage as well as their Uber to probably retake this point. It doesn't seem like Morning Light have too many resources able to block it, so they're just going to sit on the point and probably take it back. I am showing up a little bit, but the rest of this team isn't really around him too much, so I assume that nothing's really going to happen in turn of, of that. And cap is going to go the way of Wonderwall, and not only do they have the point now, they still have the Uber. They weren't forced. It seems like Sophie's going to be trying to go behind double sword, double soldier bomb coordination coming with Dingo as well, but so many people in Morning Light are weak. The Uber gets popped off, and they decide to clean up the four of them, but Azen is all the way back at spawn, so that's technically a successful sack coming from Morning Light, which is going to be good for them. It's the, the first piece of, I think this is probably the first Uber ads scenario for them. So far, it's just been them at Disad or them at Eason even. So this is probably going to be a pretty promising opportunity for them to try to push this point. Yeah, they need to make sure they get this because if, if you mess something up like this, it's really hard to get back in the game, especially because you're going to have Uber Disad in the next fight. But looks like they're going to probably get onto Rakuso. They pop out. They're actually not focusing him. He's going to get out. Sam just, just barely dies there. And they trade out for Alpha as well, but two down on the side of... Wonderwall, and that's probably going to stop it. They're going to wait for spawners, get this Uber up, and take an Uber add into them. Now, that was practically a solo, and it's still semi-successful, so that's good on them, but now they're back in the situation they've been for the entirety of this map so far, where they have disadded. They do own the point, though, so that is something. They have some positioning, and Wonderwall does have to wait for the respawners before they try to push this point, but a lot of Morning Light are playing very, very passive. I, I think they're probably just banging on the soldiers, getting the force, if anything, but... Wonderwall are going to go ahead and pop through Uber really deep. They're able to get one kill, maybe two. No, Dingo gets aired up or takes the pack and didn't quite see, but it seems like they only really got one kill with that Uber. I'm not so quite sure about that because Morning Light, I'm sure, is going to be totally fine to go ahead and continue to spam. This is both soldiers are trying to peek doors and Morning Light continues to pressure their way up back up the slope to retake this point. Yeah, Wonderwall definitely thought that Morning Light be closer, but most of them were all the way out and Sandless trying to bait this point 90% on the side of Azen. Any second now, they're going to have this Uber, but Sai is just on the point. There's a soldier. Fruit in. They get a pick on the flank. Alpha down. Their heals are on point. Soldier back in on the demo. Doesn't really get enough. Rakuso weak as well. They get Sandblast picked. The Uber comes out. There's no scouts to uh, to escort this med. Soapy super weak in the post. And two scouts on the side of red team, and the blue team has no scouts. This is a really good fight for the side of Wonderwall, especially if they can try and focus down one of these targets, but they're just trading spam. They're going to get this cap. Actually... Sai doing a really good job of do just spreading damage. Double Soldier Bomb getting a lot of damage out, getting the force, and they, they end up turning it into a two-man, and Caps gets bowed across the map, and they're going to extend his spawn in a second. Oh, they're actually... Oh, they want to wait for his spawn, but they're a little bit greedy. It seems like Morning Light is trying to show back up this and is a, delay as long as possible. This is a 4v5 for them. I, I, that could have been scary if one of them wanted to really commit, but 
Uh, really slight ad, 20, 10, 10, 20 ad for the side of Morning Light. And they're still brawling this point. Even though they don't have soldiers, Sai is not scared. He's taking that beam and just spamming all his projectiles across the point. And Alpha getting picked on the side again. He's been the opening frag so many times. Sai eating a lot of damage. Great bomb from Cactus Wactus Fruit. And they're just getting shut out so far, Morning Light is. And Wonderwall is just spamming, spamming, spamming. Soapy really weak on the side. Kuso out and... They're not giving them any chance to breathe. The Uber coming out. They're going to focus with Kuso in the house. But Lol Guy, really good choice to go in the house instead of keep running away through the valley. And they actually catch out Sandblast. Soapy dying as well somewhere else. And it's going to be a 4v4 huge ad, but decently weak Lol Guy here. Yep, they have some picks to work off of so far. And they're, they're trying to pressure Blue out the best they can. They're able to get one kill on Dingo. And with three dead, it looks like that they sh this should be relatively free to retake. They're also in a very good position, Wonder All is with full Brad, so we'll have to see how they decide they want to hold this in terms of aggression. Do they want to hold really far forward and try to lock on the other team? This is what they were telling their... me about. They're doing oh. a weird Uber. They're all in the house. And if Lokai puts that gun away, they're practically silent. A soldier just spotting the door. I think Morning Light, no, but they have 30 seconds. They have to go, and they're going to pop in with this Uber, but Azen was waiting for it. They are so far out. But given they, they get a lot of ground, they get Sandblast down, Alpha's hiding hiding forward. He could touch Cap if they, they keep trying to forward. But get spotted by the soldier and absolutely destroyed by Rakuso. Rakuso's gonna die here. Tries to get a shovel and Uber out. Logai should be caught here. Logai buying a good amount of time. Sai shooting all of his ammo, just not getting it. Sam in the sky, and there's a lot more players on the side of Wonderwall. This is not looking great at all. Sandblast back. In here, a lot of weak players. He could potentially win this four people that are all so weak. He doesn't know, though. And they're getting healed up now. It's not looking that good. Trading demo for scouts good. And now it's just it's just Howard versus two scouts. And it looks like they're, they're going to play it safe here. Uh, I like the idea behind that play that Wonderwall did because it kind of bought a lot of space and time to be able to make sure that Morning Light wasn't able to retake this point. But jumping the gun a little bit too quickly is going to make uh, Morning Light be able to take back this point. But with no demo... Wonderwall might be able to finally uh, end this round and take it. As they are in overtime, they just do need a cap to win as they're trying to edge the point a little bit. And Morning has to be careful. They want to block the point, but they don't want to die to this Uber that's about to come out right now as the red players barrel forward and able to successfully kill the medic as they go back and try to save their flank on the back line. They are going to drop a couple players, but the health is actually, it's, it's pretty not that great for either team. Uh, in terms of we're in a 2v2 scenario, which I did not expect at the very end of the day. It's going to be Cactus Wactus and Logi versus Sai and Alpha. Both relatively weak. Alpha is going to go down, just Sai alive, the rest of his team rolling out, not quite there, and he is going to fall, and this is going to be the capture in the end of the round, so if he's not able to make it in time because he just spawned, that's going to be Wonderwall's second round here. Yeah, just a, a great, great half for them. They've been looking good. The second round wasn't as clean, but so far just watching, they are absolutely dominant on this map, and Wonderwall is just looking lost in a lot of these situations. It really feels I mean, like... like yeah, it feels like Wonderwall is doing a really good job at like uh, coordinating their soldier spam and their and their projectile aggression and or, or projectile spam and soldier aggression all the way around. Uh, and it seems like Morning Light doesn't have a whole lot of ways to like counter initiate properly, so they're getting cleaned up a lot. Like I think the I think the aggression out of Wonderwall is definitely paying off more so than you know playing passive like Morning Light is doing sometimes. I mean, granted, to be fair to them. Morning Light did fix up the way they were playing in between both rounds. If you compare them, they definitely made some adjustments in the middle of the half, like just heat of the moment right off the bat, because the pace of what they were playing wasn't necessarily uh, the same the entire time. So there is some promise to uh, you know have this halftime to have them sit down and you know try to figure out what they want to change. But uh, the question is, is you know is Wonderwall going to change something uh, again, and then you have to alter your strategy a second time in the heat of the moment? But we have the logs up. Seems like oh. uh, some pretty decent damage coming out of I Sam. I feel like the main pissy. thing you could really see is uh, there's two things I'd re the, the tell a story is uh, low guy zero deaths and the the flank. Well, both soldiers in the flank scout of Morning Light are just not having any success really. And I think the big difference that I'm seeing is the 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 Wonderball soldiers and everybody. They're they're so proactive. They're bump jumping in, jumping out, doing so many things and. A lot of Morning Light is they're just so static. Soapy sitting on the right side, Dingo sitting on the left side, and Sai's just on the point spamming. And there's not much pressure. And time after time, Alpha just on the left shed completely alone. Nothing happening, nothing drawing eyes. Gets focused down and killed instantly in the beginning of every fight. 
And it, it's just, they need to find something else to work. I think they need to start trying to initiate maybe more. Like I was saying, Soapy probably needs to try and do more because that, I was playing on that left side and if the other team wants to kill you, they just can. And he's, he's kind of sometimes counterbombing the shed, but not really enough aggression, I don't think, for a morning light side. It feels like a lot of the time what triggers them wanting to go in is damage, but in moments where there's not necessarily tons of damage that's happening, it just leads them to playing static. Whereas Wonderwall, it feels like they're initiating just not necessarily based off of damage, but they're able to coordinate like, oh, our flank's healthy? Okay, let's go do something. And they go and find some dude alone and try to frag him, which Warning Light wasn't necessarily doing at the very beginning of the, the game, so we'll have to see if they try to incorporate that into their play a little bit, because seems like it's, it's working for the other team so at this point you know might not work or it might not be too bad of an idea to try to do it yourself also low guy having zero deaths Azen having five i they i don't think they can keep putting the the ball in wonderwall's court because if they make the fight scrappy and scrappier maybe it'd be good in their favor because but Azen's just dying in these these slow fights where it's just long and drawn out and it's just spam 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 and most of the time they just don't have the cap and they're just losing time while just waiting and then eventually azen maybe gets picked low guy low guy lives and just overall that's like we were talking about the main story is there's just they just can't get anything going it's a good point if you try to play a spam war when you don't have the cap and you don't necessarily have any inherent advantage to go off of it's kind of a dm rng coin flip on whether or not who hits their shots who wins the spam fight that's not necessarily the best thing to go off of all the time when you have an advantage, like your team respawning faster because you don't own the point. So we'll have to see if the level of aggression that Morning Light shows in this next half uh, is any different than the previous, but we are going live now into the uh, the second half of this uh, week one second cast. Marmalou, why don't you go ahead and take it away as it seems like both demos are arriving to mid now. They were talking for a while, so Morning Light's probably going to have something weird coming up. Something different, but so far looking really standard. Dingo getting on the shed, getting a little bit more aggro with their spam, but no initiation yet. They're still still just waiting and spamming. But Wonderball, I think they're anticipating something. Rakuso back, along with Howard, just blocking off the left side of their own. And it, it, no one's getting all the cap, really. They're just playing on their own sides, waiting for something to happen. And yeah, they're just trading spams. Soapy and Fruit trading spam on the shed. And they're just, they're not doing anything. Uh, it does so seem fun. like it's going a little bit better for Warning. Like, I mean, it's fair right now. Dingle's a little bit weak, but they're, they're getting their presence without necessarily sacrificing too much of their health. Actually, they're able to finally kill Fruit, Cactus Wactus. Is, that's going to help them enable uh, them be able to get this cap. We have a scout trying to initiate a kill that is going to be successful in creating a distraction that creates two more kills, not without trading one of their own. A little bit of a scrappy fight in the back lines. Rakuso's trying to see what he can do. Uh, creating space is going to get cleaned up by Sai. And it seems like overall this is going to be not too bad for Morning forced. Light. Oh, he did get forced. I didn't I even see that. I got forced was... in the back. That's oh. so good for Morning Light. That mid, a lot of it was really just Soapy trading spam with Fruit. Eventually Fruit just didn't have enough HP to live. Soldier in. Not doesn't. Oh, he actually two rockets that scout. Another soldier in. But not enough damage on Azen, and they, they clean up the, the three-man there. But it's 3v3, and they're taking another three-man in. Rakuso in the skybox, on the med, holding the rocket, gets oh. the drop. And it's just Howard against two, but I don't, think, I don't know if this is going to end up very well, good for Howard. But that was, that I was do greedy not, for Azen. I do not know if he recognized that there was a ceiling above him that was not going to let him, like, surf in the way that he expected. Uh, he was kind of, like, technically in that cubby, which I don't know if he necessarily Santa's anticipated. Behind. Yeah, we do Santa's have a play. Guy. Oh, and Mole Guy gets picked. That was such a good play. He snuck up the left side, jumped on the shed, gets another kill. Sam was on a 6k. He is opening the door for them and on Sam as well. Gets another pick, and it's just his game right now. That's a huge play from Sandboss. He is going to eventually fall, but the damage is done. Is that there's only one fragment class left alive in Howard, and he's going to fall as well. Only Caps and Lulgai left alive. Both respawners nowhere near, so this is definitely going to be a continued secured cap from Warning Light. And they're going to hold it for a little bit longer because these Wonderwall spawns still have to come in, so it's going to buy enough time for Sandblast to get his. He's done enough damage where he can probably get to the point before Wonderwall arrive, and it seems like they're trying to do that right now as they begin to poke their way up through the slope. And now they're in the position Wonderwall has been for most of the game. They have Cap, they have Uber at, and now Wonderwall really has to try to initiate before the other team gets Uber. Otherwise, they're just going to have to wait out the clock for them to get Uber. Fruit's in, 
trying to get on the med one rocket but there's Rakuso and they turn it into a three man and they're getting so much damage so many kills and now it's two scouts with the med but they're gonna opt to come back in right now 85 percent that's be 90 and they're, they're nervous alpha sneaking behind but they backed up this should be a pretty good pick and alpha just not with the timing and really good turn back from the side of Wonderwall there. That was a really ri nice rotation to be able to collect that frag and that's going to make it this much easier to be able to get on the point and not necessarily have to to use or force or anything and holy cap on 1 HP is going to get aired up. He's he's fine though so Wonderwall in a good position. They may not have the time necessarily but at least for right now they have the point and they have an uber ad so it's up to Morninglight to decide how they want to approach getting this force. You know they, they want to fly in the skybox do they want to try to pinpoint a oh, it's particular a person and it seems like it's going to be a double but they're doing the shed strat this has been a new thing soldier backdoor and really good job low guy is terrified though look at look at him coming around scout in alpha cleaned up and uh really good hold and that's really been the meta so far against these four mans is you just you bunker down in the shed and you just try and shoot the doors as hard as possible and protect your men and it's even ubers here kuso not going to be here for a little bit and yeah, just probably gonna be a sandblast trade. You're taking it forward now. Yep, they're trying to poke their way up the slope a little bit. Both scouts on the medic and soldiers trying to create space, but Wonderwall doesn't want to give up too much. They're trying to counter initiate a, a little bit, getting on the shed and trying to put out damage to the morning lights. Alpha's gonna get a little bit weak. Uber's not necessarily traded quite yet. Morning light is gonna be a little bit slower. Dingo's gonna get very low by Cactus Wax so just to jump back and to go for the health pack, but do like there's some point presence now happening from morning light. They're trying to barrel forward with Psy. Uber's finally popped off, but the counter not necessarily coming out of Lullaby, milking his heart away, even despite his other scout being 15 HP as the uh, pop finally comes out as they're chasing Morning Light down the slope. They hastily try to retreat, but they've dropped a lot of people. Their flank is dead, and the collapse is going to come in from Dingo, putting good damage on the Sam. He's not necessarily going to die, but is going to surf his way back up. And with very, very weak players on Wonderwall, this does not look very good for their ability to hold this point. They are able to get Psy at the very end of the day, so that's going to be a nice trade for them. But well, they're, they're kind of peeking around. It doesn't seem like they have a whole lot going on, Marmalou, but they're, they're definitely trying their heart out to prevent this cat from going the other way. Just such a chaos fight. They had two people. I think the flank went behind and Morning Light got two picks. Soapy eventually got cleaned up, but it's looking like uh, they're trying to get the point, but I don't think Morning Light's going to let this happen. Even though they don't have side, they're just going to keep spamming, but I don't. they don't have the HP to keep going, but they just, they just get the cap and Alpha gets picked again. This is not a good look. Uber, slight ad from Logan. I don't know. I don't know if he knows, but looks like there is a pause, so... Uh, I have a feeling what that means, but I I won't I won't say what happened. Yeah, you know, got to kind of coin flip. Is this technical? Is this tactical? You know, we'll kind of probably figure it out once we actually you know unpause. But at least in the situation right now, this is you know ten percent, fifteen percent Uber ad. I'm not really sure if the teams will necessarily know that that exists unless they see it with Solemn Vow or something. But uh. You know, we'll probably uh, we'll probably see an Uber exchange coming as soon as we get uh, unpaused, whenever that will be. But uh, you know, how how do you how are you thinking about how Morning Light's been playing so far? You know, they've gotten a lot of time on the clock. They've kind of changed the way they've been playing a little bit. Uh, they've been a lot more active. A couple most of the game they've had Uber ad though, which does help out. And it looks like there is an unpause here. Sophie's trying to get in. Uber should be here any second now. I think they have Uber on the side. A lot of damage onto Samlust and Psy. They're taking it straight in. They're going to get onto Psy. They get another drop onto Azen. Great bomb from Fruit. And this is this is a disaster scenario. Samlust trying to make the same play he did last time. Sitting up on the wall. Dingo in. Samlust getting dealt with. Soapy gets onto, onto Sam at least. And just another wipe there from the side yep. of... That of Didn't I... Did not quite see where Lol Guy was, so that's only going to collect the demo, and I'm kind of surprised that Azen dropped that time. I tried to give him a cop-out the first time he dropped, but this time I'm not really sure what was going on. Maybe the soldier was he was blind because of the, the tower or something, but either way, it drops a drop, and now they're going to be trying to retake this point as they eventually come back up the slope. Yeah, Soapy in. There's a side jumped in for a sack. 80% from Lol Guy. They traded one for one, but that is a demo down on this map. It's so important. Scout's taking so much damage, I think a pipe onto Alpha, and they the side of Wonderwall still has the point. They're going to pop in. Azen may get caught. Does have scout speed, and I think he'll be able to slip out, but there's four seconds. They have a bit of overtime to work with, but they're going to need to start getting towards this cap, and they're already down one. Uber's not coming anytime soon for Azen. Sam was falling first. A bomb onto Azen. Great job from Fruit with two picks instantly. Maybe even a third, and... That's what I assumed the pause was for. I was looking at the clock a minute left, 
And uh, they tack paused. They are down 3-0, and they need to play flawless from this point on to, to win this game here. Yeah, the Morning Light's been playing a little bit better. You know, they've gotten more cap time as the rounds go on, but it doesn't seem like that it's necessarily enough yet. We'll have to see what comes out of them for this next mid. As uh, both demos arriving in a pretty normal fashion, we have Rakusa playing a little bit further back. Same with Alpha and Dingo. Both teams just going for additional spam wars. Both are going to be double walling in, trying to go straight for the medic. Just sell out for the medic gameplay going on. As flanks going on from the side. Cap is going to be able to collect Psy, and a lot of people dead on the side of Morning Light. Law guy is going to barely, no, not even live with 12 HP. He's going to get cleaned up by Sophie, who's still trying to 1v1 Howard in the house. Howard is going to be able to clean him up, and it's just Sandblast left alive, trying to take a 1v1 right now with Cap. Yeah, just, that's what I want. That's what I was expecting more often. Just instant double bomb on the med. And what happened is they pulled three people off to the side. But it looks like no time for that. Morning Light is going to stop this point with their heals that were there a little bit faster. But they're, all the cap time is gone on the side of Wonderwall. And it's going to be another long, long mid. Yeah, mid fight V2. It seems like, you know, they were slightly more clumped up Morning Light was. But they've spread out finally. You know, back to the spam war. Both soldiers posted up in positions where they can try to get the best spam in the camera. Rakusa trying to initiate in, but he's very, very weak. Has to not commit and just go behind for health. And that morning has an opportunity to go forward. Sophie trying to jump in, but he's not going to be... Oh, the pipe! I'm not sure if that was a direct or a roller, but either way, mid-air shot on the Sophie. Although, despite that very, very nice shot, it does seem like that Morning Light is going to be a little bit more victorious this time around. Alpha with the beam. I don't know, Cap's been on fire. on the med. Just doesn't really connect any shots, actually. So, you know, uh, not looking great, but really good job for Morning Light there. Just dealing with everyone coming in. A's in living there, which is huge. 80% add. The, doubt, the, the good part for Wonderball is nobody had that point the whole time. So the clock is starting, starting to tick now. Yep, and that's definitely going to be a good position you want to be in because no matter what, worst case, you should be able to use this Uber to at least hold on to the point. It seems oh like, like three God. people are going to funnel through the same door. They're all going to melt immediately, but they are going to get what they want, and that is the Uber Force. Morning Light desperately trying to go forward and see if they can collect any other kill, but Howard's going to escape with 70 HP with his medic, and all Morning Light have to do now is just try to set up for the eventual Uber coming out of Wonderwall as they burst three out of the spawn back that, behind that the house. That was beautiful. I had the perfect... Died the sky cam and three people just flew into that back door. Nason has no chance of not popping there. It's impossible in a little box. And it looks like Wonderball sneaking in. Sophie actually initiating something behind, but doesn't work out. They pop in on the side of Wonderwall. But Azen, once again, every time they've had these Uber ads, Azen's been ready for it at least. And Cap's getting dealt with by Dingo and Alpha. And yeah, split up from his team a little bit. Didn't necessarily follow the way his team was pushing, and that's going to be a scout down for Morning Light trying to retake this point off Uber. They have a little bit of space to work with, but Wonderwall is not going to uh, give up the point without a fight. You know, they are putting some Morning Light players pretty weak. Azen got hurt a little bit, had to go back for a pack. Dingo very weak as well, but not without trading kills, and Howard is going to go down to Sophie Meister. So that's a very nice pick coming from Morning Light. Got to heal from Soldier a little bit. They are initiating on Rakus, and they're able to clean him up, but I'll... Oh, Wonderwall's explosive class is trying to bomb in and see what they can get. The demo is going to die. Azen popped up in the air is, is going to be able to successfully live, take the pack, and it is going to be a cap for Morning Light. It seems like that pick they got at the very beginning from Cap's overextending. Well, they're tr they're trying to things. transition to a forward hold. I don't. Oh, they this are. This has not been the forward hold I've been seeing a couple times, but I can definitely see why they're doing Psy on the top right door from a defender's perspective. And it looks like all of Wonderwall trying to get through that main and that right door. There's sticks here, and they're getting so damaged and. Or, uh, Morning Light's doing a great job of just dealing damage. It's going to be even Ubers here. And everyone's so weak. The soldiers spamming through the window, and they are just... They're going to leave. They, d they took a lot of time off the clock, and they delayed them. Yep, and that's definitely what you want. Just buy time when you own the point. But it does seem like the red Uber is going to be coming out on the side, trying to get him damaged. A couple missed shots, but the Uber is eventually going to come out as the red team tries to back up, recognizing that the Uber is a little bit worse. Uh, Scout is going to chase down, and Cap is going to die. But Sophie going really deep and dying in the pack lines, and Dingle tries to follow up, but there's not any damage on Law Guys, so they just end up both dying. Fruit is going to uh, die to Alpha, so that is a little bit of an even scenario in terms of players, and that's going to be good enough for Wonderwall to try to peak this point, especially when they respawn faster, but not if Morning Light has anything to say about it. As both scouts try to barrel forward and try to pressure their way to make space for Psy to do damage, but this Cap is still going, Marmaluke. It seems like they're going to get it right under Morning Light's noses, and they do. And that's big, because how these fights have been going is it's just no one really goes forward, and it's just a stalemate. And now when they're having the stalemate, they're going to have their time ticking down, and it's about... 20, 30% add for the side of Wonderwall. And if I'm morning late, 
I feel like you turn it into a sack here. You just decide, all right, scrap this fight. Let's try and sack for a force of medic. But it looks like Azen is too committed and they just pop across the point with four people. And it is a great Uber. And they've been so proactive with their Uber ads in these situations. And that's how you get your way back into the game. Azen spawned really quick. So it's going to be only 20 ad on the side of Wonderwall. But that is a big opening to their, their potential comeback here. Yep, now they're back at square one. It, it, granted, you know, Wonderwall probably won't have an Uber to work with this time as long as Morning Light doesn't take too long to be able to cleanly get through the doorways. I mean, Aza taking a little bit of damage, but oh, Zamblast gonna immediately die to Sticky Bombs, and Soapy's gonna die as well. This is not necessarily you want to see, unless it Wall seems like this gone. is mostly just gonna be a sack wave instead. Okay, goes bad at the very first. Never mind, we're not drawing, we're doing a sack. And it I, seems like Sai is gonna go ahead and peace out with his medic. One little minute thing, I think Low Guy is. I think, I think Low Guy's honored enough. Azen wasn't building that whole time. Both scouts sacked and Psy was out. I don't know if Azen or Low Guy's going to know about this ad, but that ad is much bigger than it should be. And they're, uh, once again, in the other team's shed, just waiting, bunkering down. They finally get out. And Soapy in, really good bomb and gets the force. Just surfs into the hut. Alpha is going to get caught as well, but shouldn't mean much. They're going to have to wait for their Uber anyways. Might as well wait for another spawner. Yep, that's going to be a pretty successful sack. They only needed three players instead of four this time, and they're able to kill Rakuso too, which means when they come in with this ad, it's going to be one less spamming class preventing them from walking forward. In fact, they're trying to walk forward now a little bit. Sandblast is trying to create some space for his team, but Soapy's going to die to a trap on the far right. That's not going to be very good for them in terms of maintaining space for this post here, but the Uber still can come into play and get some work. They just have to try to execute it the best they can. As Starting to put Scout on the point, and he's going to immediately die too. Sai goes all the way, and it's able to kill Caps and Law Guy, and that's going to be a saving grace for this push. But you but definitely there's people behind. Three people behind. The Uber's fading now. Oh, they get so much damage on everybody. Aizen should get picked, and just a really good recommit. But they're gonna they're gonna tick down their clock to zero, and now Red Team in overtime. Wonderwall. If they get this cap once, it's gonna look really good. But really. Really smart job from Morning Light deciding, all right, let's stall the cap, but if Wonder Wolf can stop this right before, but they do get, end up getting the cap off. And Alpha make it picked again, and he is just getting destroyed so far in this game. Yep, that was the right play, but it's unfortunate that, that, that the play made them lose a player, and now the situation they're trying to avoid is in their face. They do are able to kill one, but not without losing both their scouts. Russo is doing so much work in the back, and now they're just capping right in front of them, and they get it. That was such a great bomb from Russo. I think he killed the scout, and then did 100 to the med and soldier, and they just cap it, and they really, uh, they had a big opening to the season, you know, playing a, a little bit of a weird map, and uh, I think Morning Light were probably a little bit confident on it, because, uh, and they, yeah, my, my they prediction showed was up. very wrong. Mine was wrong too, but you know, right team. But that I don't think anyone yeah. saw that coming. That was very dominant. Uh, Morning Light, they, they showed some promise as the rounds went on and were able to get more time in the clock, but it just kind of shows that you know once you're at a deficit, it's really hard to work back from it, and they weren't even able to get a whole lot of points on the board, which is unfortunate for their record, but you know this is the only time they'll play with each other, so I'm sure they'll be able to take whatever they've learned from today and put it towards future matches if they end up on this map or another cough map or whatever again. But we have the stats up again. Well, what, are you, what are you looking at right now, Marmaloo, in terms of performance? Um, Lil Guy had deaths. That's really good. And uh, overall, they, they brought a lot of the numbers a lot closer. They were, they were in those rounds for longer. Look, two rounds, seven plus minutes in this half. Uh, let me double check last half because, yeah, one of them was five and one of them was six. So they they were closer. They just really couldn't keep it going whenever they were they started they get the cap they start getting picks but eventually either azen dropped two times i forgot i think he dropped once in both rounds and that really probably was the the nail in the coffin in both of those rounds yeah it definitely didn't help anything because especially some of those rounds were like they had like what 20 and 40 seconds left and that can be enough you know having an uber to be able to take a point back can buy you that amount of time to win the round so it's going to be unfortunate for them but at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's going to be a 4-0. And uh, congrats to Wonderwall. They did a pretty good job. You know, I'm sure they're happy with this compared to you know, last night. They're, they're trying to play uh, the other map, and it wasn't as uh, successful as they wanted it to be. But definitely got what they wanted this time. All right, well, we, uh, we, got, we got the medic from Wonderwall. Lol guy, you know, I was talking to you last night, and you were telling me 4-0, uh, and uh, you delivered. I didn't quite say that, but, you know. 
That, that's kind of crazy. I mean, not surprised. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, I really liked what you guys were doing with your Ubers. You were so proactive. You, you turned fights into three mans and just, you're making things happen over and over Can you and let me over say something? Again. Yes. Pissy, last demo, caps, last combo scout. Did you just watch the same game that I was playing? Yeah. Did I, yeah. I, did I put caps last? <laughs> You're going to need to change oh. these rankings, Marmor. Uh, I don't know when Demo we're doing diff. it, but you know. Call yeah, Cy was, uh, Cy wasn't, Cy didn't look too good in that second half. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm referring to the new alias, Sam, you know, not with two yeah. A's, with one A, you know. Really uh, showing off in a, in a amazing fashion. First, second match, I guess, but we'll, we'll count this as the first one. It's more fun. Howard is perfect. I don't know. I don't know, you guys, I don't know, the, the mids in the second half were, they, those mids were something else that entire game, actually. The yeah, four please. minute, three minute long spam <laughs> mid, like, what yeah. was happening? Our mids were straight up experimental, I can't even, I don't know. Ask caps. Well, they, re they, re they seem to play really passive, and usually we're a pretty, uh, like, aggressive team, but we were trying to, like, see what would happen, and we, both teams play passive, and it ended up in a five minute mid, so I don't. That was pretty fun. Makes sense, makes sense. What about clear cut in particular? Can you go, I mean, you don't have to go too deep if you don't want to, but a little bit about your, your mindset going into the map bands to, you know, put clear cut as one of the maps left in the pool to play. Uh, we had scrimmed clear cut before. Uh, generally, we've been doing pretty good in Koth and scrims, so we just did. Nothing much else to it. Makes sense, gotta play to your strengths. Yeah. I just knew if we put into Pug map, though. It'll probably be a lot closer. So I wanted it. to bring it to clear cut. I don't know how much experience uh, That's my some home. of these guys have on the on this map, at least. So yeah, you know, really I know good. most of them avoid playing Koth in general. So I, I was surprised when they didn't ban all the Koth maps. So like, oh. I, uh, I remember looking at the pick ban. It was so funny. So I think they banned Villa, Product, and Bagel. And you just you saw the one like kind of <laughs> weird map left, and you're like, you know what? <laughs> Let's take this. I want this map. And they probably weren't too happy because they got rid of three of those maps and then just the last one kind of yeah. bit them in the I think they had, like, process sunshine <laughs> and, like, snake It's the absolute opposites. <laughs> but uh, so good job to y'all. It's it's early on in the season. You know, you got a, you got a long ways to go, but I'm sure you've had some time in the off season to try to, you know, figure out where you guys kind of land on a on the rankings of where teams kind of go. Where do, where do you guys think you are right now? And First. Where do you, you want to be? That's what you like to hear. First. Mm -hmm. uh, See, what we're trying to do is take over the division, but if we're going to be realistic, uh, no, we're no shooting for realistic. at least third. Nah. Yeah, that's First. respectable. That's respectable. We'll have to see it. Yeah, you gotta season shoot for if you're able stars. to keep that up. Come on. I just said I'm going to take over the division, dude. Oh, you, then you said realistically. You gotta go all <laughs> in. You know, like this may you're be right. held a, a head above you right. later on in the season, but you know, you gotta you gotta come out and uh, you know really come out shooting. But uh, really good job. I don't know. All of you guys played really great. And unless you have any other questions, Jared, I think uh, you guys can just say some shout outs if you'd like. Shout out, Soapy. Sorry. Kind of, kind of messed up, but you know. That's my boy. All right. Never mind. Uh, can I get a shout out? Uh, I want to shout out Delta Market. Uh, I'm my biggest fan, Zopi Meister, and <laughs> and shout out to my team. That's it. All right. You got anything else, Jarrett? I think that's about it from us. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you next week. I'll see you on Sunday if we're doing player rankings. You know, I'll definitely uh, definitely look at them a little bit differently here. But uh, good yeah. game overall, and uh, I think that's all we got here. Thanks.